definition of happiness. This is a difficult concept to understand. It's hard because there isn't one solid definition for everyone. For some, it could be having a safe home, being in complete serenity, or loving themselves. From a dictionary point of view, the definition of happiness is the quality or state of being happy. Good fortune, pleasure, contentment, and joy. But what does this mean? What does being content or feeling joy really mean? I thought I could stand up here today and preach about how to be happy, but I'm only one person with my own definition. That's why I decided to turn to the people. These past couple of weeks, I interviewed 20 of the most influential people of my life for some input about what their definition of happiness is. These people range from young to old, educators, mentors, and friends. Ever since I moved to Ann Arbor two and a half years ago, I made it my journey to surround myself with the most down-to-earth and quality people. Even though I don't believe I'm quite there yet, I think I've come a far way. But I'm not the only one trying to solve this riddle. Why, after decades of scientists, psychologists, and people like you and me studying happiness, have we still not found out the answer? Why, when you're walking in the halls or in school, do you only hear people say, I'm so stressed out today, or I'm so sad? Why not celebrating the good things that had happened? When John Lennon was in first grade, his teacher told him to write down what he wanted to be when he grew up. He wrote down, happy. His teacher came back to his table and explained to him that this was not the point of the prompt, that he needed to write down a more tangible or realistic answer. But John Lennon, as a seven-year-old, explained to her that he doesn't think she understands his answer, that wanting to achieve happiness isn't out of the ordinary or unrealistic. It's in the playing cards. It's a possibility. But why is happiness so difficult to achieve and understand? When I was conducting my interviews, I asked everyone if they thought they could be happier. Everyone would do the same thing. They would do this thing where they would sort of shrink their face in, squint their eyes, and tilt their head back. Then they would say something like, yeah, of course I could. Some people would take this as a warning sign of why is not one person I interviewed truly happy, or why are they so sure that they could be happier? But instead, I see it as something so beautiful. They are all aspiring to achieve more. They are motivated every day that there is no end, that it is only up from here, and that they can always be happier. One person I interviewed said something similar to this, but then said, I hope I can. I hope someone could achieve their full level of happiness. But then they questioned themselves again. How do we actually put our happiness into context without the other emotions? No one can plateau in their level of happiness. That's not human, they said. Humans have emotions, like anger and fear. Reminding ourselves of our humanity is something people tend to forget, that we are not just a pair of big hips or too many freckles, and that the acne scars on our cheeks and the size 18 jeans define our worth or our quality or importance. Instead, appreciate the natural things about yourself, that your human anatomy allows you to take another step forward every day, another step to see the sun rise and set and rise again. But it's not our fault when we get stuck in superficiality. Another question in my interviews was if you, was if you thought iPhones and social media affected your happiness. Even peers of mine who spend so much time on their devices would answer so confidently in negative. An educator at my school said, iPhones only cause temporary distractions. The young generation has made it so easy to have surface relationships and somehow feel your self-worth through how many notifications you get. The world is progressing at a pace that only robots would be able to keep up with. But we are not robots. We are humans. Humans with the ability to make actual change. We are the ones who call BS and say me too. But change in the world doesn't have to have a campaign title or a slogan. It can just be showing kindness and love to one another. When I was writing my TED Talk, the song came on Heal the World by Michael Jackson. The lyrics read, heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me. 
There are people dying. We could care enough for the living, make it a better place for you and for me. These lyrics encapsulate the message so well. We are the only ones who can make impacts on other humans' lives, but we are also the only ones who can truly define our happiness. Will Smith said, you can make a person smile, you can make a person laugh, you can make a person feel good, but it can be destructive to place the responsibility of your happiness on anyone besides yourself. The last question in my interview was, if you had to put the definition of happiness into one sentence, what would it be? This question puzzled many people because it's a pretty hard question to answer on the spot. But a couple of the answers really stood out. One person said, the unrelenting pursuit of your dreams. The ability to pursue what you love without objections or interferences. Another person said, the feeling of the sun on your face. Just the simplest feeling of satisfaction and comfort. The last person said, the understanding of self in a way you know you must always love yourself even in the darkest of times. The feeling of inner peace. When I was done questioning everyone, I decided to question myself. When I got to the question of the one sentence definition, I thought I'd crafted the perfect sentence. I thought I'd come up with this one universal definition that compiled everything that I'd learned throughout the process. But instead, I found myself rewriting and altering and erasing the writing. See, the definition of happiness doesn't fit into a cookie cutter of generic words and phrases. It's not something that you can measure or alter or fix. It's only something that you can strive to improve and get better every day. So the definition of happiness doesn't really exist. It's only something that you can define. Thank you.